Pega, I'm so excited to speak with you. I hope you're doing wonderful today. Thank you, Leia. How are you? I'm doing really good. I'm doing really good. Um, I know you're busy. I'm going to get right into it, uh, but I'm going to try to keep it fun. <laughs> Fatima is going through some major changes this season, right? She's experiencing some dark supernatural moments. Um, how did you prepare to show this more intense side of Fatima, especially as she navigates fear, doubt, and eating garbage? Like, what was that? I know that was a really fine fruit. What? <laughs> um, it was cake. <laughs> no, it wasn't. Um, it was a lot of soul searching and a lot of uh, figuring out where my fears would come from and how they would come out. Uh, and I think the cake was just a nice little treat that they were like, we should cut this girl some slack. Let's give it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, now, this is a question I promised my viewers I would ask. What's up with the numbers four and seven, right? Viewers have noticed these numbers repeating in the show, but they've also noticed them popping up in some of the social media posts from the cast. Is there something as to why this is appearing in some of the cast photos or we just reading too much into this? What cast photos, what numbers, and, and what are you talking about? So like the numbers four and seven, we've seen them in photos with Cordion. We've seen them in photos from Ricky. And I think we've seen them in photos from... uh from one other person, but I'm, I, I, it's escaping me right now, but we keep seeing the numbers four and seven, not just in the show, but also sometimes on folks' social media. Like, I think Cordion posted a photo with him in front of a trailer, and in between him and one other person, there was the numbers four and seven in like big giant letters. Cool, I had no idea about this. I'm sure there was something going on, but I may have missed that. Okay, okay. I, I You know, sometimes I think that we can look too closely at things so i'm, I'm just checking i'm just checking it's smarter than i am i i'll take your word for it <laughs> okay um this was another fun question from the cast and and you let me know if you weren't playing fatima is there another character in from that you'd love to play and why oh i think if victor and jade had a love child i would want to play that kid <laughs> yeah. yeah oh yeah that would be really fun um without giving away too much right i know we want to leave the surprises for the fans is there anything you can hint about what's next for fatima and what would you personally hope to see from her in the future Ooh, hint wise um a lot of you have been <laughs> joking about what will come of this pregnancy and um just being like oh you guys are killing the best cast and the best whatever like we killed sean off which to this day i haven't forgotten and haven't forgiven um <laughs> but be careful what you wish for that's all i will say and i i just i want her to she's going a really good direction in terms of what i like to do when i act which is just nuts um, and I hope we get more of that. Well, I'm I'm glad that you're you're like you're in tune with the fans. You, you're seeing what they're saying. Um, have you heard or read any fan theories about Fatima's pregnancy or her role in front that you're you found particularly interesting? I see so much. Um, I did have to step away from it a little just because there are lots of opinions on the in the World Wide Web and they scare me. So. Uh, there, some of them are onto something. Some of them are ironically correct. Some of them are unironically correct. Um, some of them are way off. And those are just entertaining, I think, more than anything. How do you mentally prepare for all of this intense stuff that you're seeing in this show and the stuff that you're performing? Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I go and I'm like, whatever happens, happens. Que sera, sera. Uh, but other times, I mean, this last year I lived with Hannah. She was my roommate and she was a really, really good distraction. Um, but also sometimes just in my trailer, I have a little bit of meditation. I have a little bit of what even are we doing today? Um, and then I just, she just take the wheel and I go to set. <laughs> well, I think Fatima's storyline has been really unique this season. I'm so glad that you're, there's so much focus on your character. I, I'm really enjoying your performance throughout everything. 
Um, is there anything that you can say that maybe happened memorably b behind the scenes this season? I always hear like every season there's like one really crazy thing that happens. Um, has there been any crazy and memorable moments that's happened behind the scenes this season that you're going to take with you into into the future? Okay, so there is. Um, the One of the days that I had a pretty big day with Harold Perrineau, um, after we were done with the scene in the car, he gave me a very touching compliment, I would say. Um and it's, I don't think it's something I want to share just because it's <laughs> fine. But just hearing that from him was like, oh, okay, here we go. <laughs> yeah, he's just the sweetest. And hearing anything of praise from him is just, yeah. Well, thank you so very much. I really appreciated speaking with you today, Pega. I I'm look forward to speaking with you in the future. Have a wonderful afternoon. Thank you again. Thank you, you too.